What is up guys? Razor here. Welcome back to Rogue Galaxy for the PS4. Let's finish up the ghost ship. Gotta make our way over to the star. We're almost there. But once we complete the ghost ship, we'll still have to complete the ghost ship extreme, so. We're nowhere near done yet. Are the beasts on this ship living off pure vengeance? Here they come. Okay, Masters. new to me, King Deimos. Do Drunken Burst level 2. Definitely want to use Illusion Sword level 2 um, and Drunken Burst against the walls in the Deimos. By the way, Deimos, what is this? Uh, Ark the Lad, Twilight of the Spirits? <laughs> Those guys were no challenge at all. Let's keep this pace up. More King Demos, there's five of them, holy crap. Digo's going crazy. Oh, we'll do a good illusion sword. Drunken burst. And into top dog. That's right, stand in the middle of the bridge. So I can easily hit you guys. How? Two down there as well. Oh yeah, I forgot they had a, uh, I'll let them finish them all. I'm not going to jump all the way down there and then have to go all the way back up. I have no pity for those who obstruct me. I do have to go this way though, and jump across. Rules of passion. Don't need those, that's for sure. You could buy infinite infinite of those. I'll take you on. Here they come. The bastards. Haven't fault haven't fault spinners in a while. Be careful with them spinners too because they do a lot of damage. That spin attack. Things glitch. Like 
there really is treasure. Let's go. I'll take you on. Come on, try me. All right, shields are down. Covering fire, level two. One more battle for the Sword of Sin. And it will max out. Okay, wow, I went the wrong way. Got to go around over here. After I'm done maxing out the Sword of Sin, I'll analyze it. See what you're supposed come. to combine it with. Let's go. Okay, we got a new enemy here. Orochi. And they have a barrier. Which is annoying. They also have that Flame Breath attack. Alright, nice. Let me analyze the Sword of Sin real quick. Oh, it's already pretty strong as, enough as it is. Let me feed my insects real quick. As for this one, I just need to get knocked back up. Knockback would be a hundred. So I got a hundred knockback, confusion, and cut resistance. Now I just need to get up the other resistances. Cutscene. There he is again. Look. Just what were you trying to pull? You must have a death wish taking me for a fool. Uh, calm down, please. Just shut up! Enough of your excuses! He's a ghost, dude. Hold on a sec. He must have a reason for doing this. Let's hear what he has to say. Uh, I do apologize for lying to you. But you've misunderstood my intentions. I wasn't exactly using you. You see, I have a favor to ask of you. If you'll deign to do me that favor, all of the treasure is yours. Yeah, right. Please, look me in the eyes if you don't believe me. <laughs> do I look as though I have an evil bone in my body? Wow. <laughs> yep, sure do. Well, uh, anyway, you want the treasure, don't you? The master's treasure is deep within this ship. Go now, be on your way, and hurry. Uh, fine, whatever. Traps or no traps, I'm gonna get to that treasure. All right, let's set through here. Continue on through here. Be careful. We 
could be dealing with more than just beasts here. Now we got another shop here. Let's max out on healing items here. You can also buy some, uh, actually need more of these, so I'll go ahead and buy these. That's nice that they have these, actually. I was a max on a mill of bananas, too. Don't need permeable beef, though. Alright, here we go. We're almost done with the ghost ship. So yeah, you can go back and get the chest if you want to. I don't think any of the chests are worth going to get. Um, but there's quite a lot of it, as you can tell. But, I don't think it's worth it, honestly. A lot of the stuff you get is kind of trash. So I'm not going to go back and get it. You don't need the chest, trust me. Here we are at the end of the ghost ship anyway. We're definitely not done yet. Final boss time of the ghost ship, Erebus. Something's obviously controlling him. The master was never like that. This isn't him at all. Please, I beg of you, save my master. Free him from this existence. Here we go. Just let us go. Alright, Illusion Sword level 2. Let me equip the Zeo Psychros. Didn't do a good drunken burst. And then Top Dog. And like every other boss, it'll pretty much one shot you. Oh, barely missed, barely dodged that beam. Okay. He's getting enraged here. He's going Super Saiyan. 
This is the end! Hey, it's that one dude. Alright, and the battle resumes. Uh, be careful if all three of your characters get caught in that beam, it's game over. So you might want to be careful about that. And apparently they get caught in that, they're dead as well. So definitely keep your party members spread out in this battle. Well, well, you can't really spread out your other party. You can't really spread out your party, but keep Jaster spread out away from the party. I don't get too close to the balls. Is what I'm saying. Because that move will instantly kill you. At least it's very short range, though. That's one good thing. So as long as you do an illusion sword, you should be good. I guess the beam doesn't instantly kill. I think I did get a game over from this boss the first time I fought it, back in 2010. Actually, it's probably no, it's like 2007. What am I talking about? There we go. Got him. Erebus defeated. And for defeating Erebus, you get 9,000 EXP and 2,100 Zen as well. But obviously, you get more for completing the ghost ship, so you get more than just that. All right, so let's see what we get for completing the ghost ship. Look at that. That boss wasn't too hard. Just make sure to keep your distance from him. Mr. Arabus, I see you're finally on your way. I'm so glad. Uh, please, allow me to accompany you. Thanks to all of you. My master has been freed from his suffering. We've been possessed by that black shadow for so long. That's what kept us tied to this ship. But finally, after all these years, we've been freed from our cursed existence. Words cannot begin to express how truly grateful I am. As promised, the treasure is yours. After all, we have no use for it now. Farewell, then. All right. So Sebastian was just trying to free Erebus from his curse. Isn't that great? It worked out just like he wanted. Well, anyway... 
How do you want to divide up this treasure? Even if we split it down the middle, there'll be more than enough for everyone. Hey! What do you know? I guess this is as far as I go. And here I thought that treasure was gonna be mine. Must not be my day. But... I'm not gonna give up, you hear me? I'm gonna be a pirate no matter what. And one day, I'll even get my own ship, too. <sighs> and just when I was starting to think we might be able to get along, too bad. The name's Dorgan Goa. Maybe I'll see you around sometime. <laughs> yep, Dorgan Goa. All right, you dogs. He looks a lot different, doesn't he? He gained a lot of weight in his life. Dorgan Goa? What's going on? That must have been an apparition. It was probably created from the captain's obsession with this treasure from back when he boarded the ship all those years ago. And it has remained until this day. He must have stopped going to the gym. He got a six pack before. Obtain the captain's suit. Obtain the Dorgan Edge. And that's what you get for completing the uh, ghost ship, the original ghost ship. And the Dorgan Edge is the most powerful weapon in the game after you power it up. You gotta combine it with other weapons just like the Um, uh, just like the Zeocycros. I know we'll be getting the other legendary weapons, but for now I'm going to end the video here. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode. I'm going to make a backup save in case you want to come back here. Um, but you can now do the Ghost Ship Extreme. There's also a particular insect that you can get uh, down there, but I think it's only in the Ghost Ship Extreme after you have a particular item. Um, after you have a particular insect food. Um, it's called the Dark Emperor. It's the strongest insect in the game. Um, but I think you'd only get it with a royal fruit, but I could be wrong about that. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next episode where we'll do Ghost Ship Extreme and later.